Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to dominate on Blitzcrank support. First things first, you're gonna want Aftershock, Demolish, Conditioning with Overgrowth. Then you're gonna want Cosmic Insight and Biscuit Delivery. You don't have to go for Bone Plating. And it is very important that you go for Demolish. You can swap out Aftershock for Guardian, but uh, Aftershock's just a lot better in my opinion for ganks and for turret dives, that kind of stuff. Blitzcrank, you're not gonna win the game through AFK during lane phase. In fact, that's how you lose the game. Your best bet is to rush down Boots and Mobility and get them as soon as you can. And that's how you win the game. Off of Boots and Mobility, roaming straight out of base and getting value. By just standing in lane indefinitely, you might as well be playing a Janna or Soraka. Newsflash guys, Blitzcrank's late game is not that great unless their AD carry just straight up runs at you in a team fight and you hook them. It's poo poo. Blitzcrank is for the early and mid game. Late game, there are much better options. With that being said, Blitzcrank is one of the highest win rate, highest pick rate supports right now. I would highly recommend them. Uh, I don't like where this is going. I can tell Twitch isn't going to be willing to tank anything. I'm not going to tank this form though. I'm already missing a bit of health off of the Shaco box. All right, that's fine. Yeah, so Shaco supports actually a hard counter to hook supports in general, whether it's Nautilus, Thresh, or Blitz. Uh, his little thing. I don't know why he hasn't gone invisible. I don't know what he's doing. That was so bizarre. What is he doing? So I guess Nidalee started red buff. Yeah, so Shaco counters hook supports. He can put a box down right as you go to hook. So we're just going to chill. Looks like we have minion advantage. Ooh, he actually invaded Nidalee. He took Ignite. That's interesting. We're going to chill and uh, play around our level 2. We're going to use our support item. Bada boom, bada bang. I just need to kill one more minion and I'm level 2. I guess we need that one. Knock him up. Pull him. Ignite him. He's dead. And Shaco is here. This is literally a free kill if I can get to him. The flash knock him up. And uh Oh my. This twitch is scaring me. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys could learn anything there, it's knocking people up first is super important with the hook champions in general. Thresh normally likes to flay then hook. Nautilus, it's safe to slow them first or auto them since his snare is since his auto is a snare first. On Blitzcrank, it's best to knock them up first and then hook. That way you can't miss it. That's why I did the Ezreal. Since we had minion advantage, I knew I'd hit level two before him. Keep an eye on XP and then pressure it. Riser about to hit level two. It'll catch a lot of people off guard. Knock them up. That was pretty solid. We did a lot of damage. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I guess I don't actually want to back, but we are low on mana. We can buy boots and roam to mid. In a perfect world, you'll be able to afford movies on your first back. It's just not likely to happen. So I'm just going to pick up double pink ward, rotate mid, and uh, we're going to get a pink ward down. Not offensive bush, but neutral bush like here or here. That way we can keep roaming back towards mid lane. Until you have boots, I wouldn't really recommend roaming. And if you're going to roam, don't get your AD carry killed to do it. Do you notice how he was going to back anyways? Because we just got him kills. That's pretty much the time where we want to roam. So I'll get my pink ward down here. It's not warded. I'm going to run at her. Try to force out her snare first. Or try to knock her up. Going to knock her up, step back, hook. He got the kill before my hook can land. It's all good. I'm going to take that cannon though. I'm going to help him push real quick so he can back. You see how Lux is spawning in? Lux just spawned in. But I mean, uh, TF's trying to reset. He's low on mana and he needs to spend his gold. But I didn't actually take any of the minions from him. Because then your teammates will freak out and poop their pants. You're going to max your Q first. And then uh, you're going to max W second and E last. If you guys want to see the runes, level order, everything... Uh, go to the very start of the video, you'll find it all in that same place. I'm going to leave my pink wood there. Um, I think Shaco's actually dead. Oh, he's went that way. Oh man, that sucks. It is what it is. The Twitch poison shimmered the Shaco, but Shaco is just really fast with his Q. Getting really close to being able to afford our boots and mobility. 
Vixen to run down Ezreal. Jin has a snare here in a moment. Blitzcrank plays best with all in AD carries like Clister, Draven. You can play him with pretty much anything right now, but ideally, it's the Clister, Draven. To all in and fight to the death. Wow, that's a lot of wards. We'll take that pink ward. You want to try to use your support item against the cannons and the melee minions in particular. Melees and cannons give the most gold. I think Shaco's still mid. I might actually be able to... Ooh, he used his E. He, he actually doesn't have his E up. I'm gonna ignite him. See, I just ran him down. Ooh, I'm not too happy about that. I'm just gonna run around the other way. Oh, I'm actually dead. I'm a, a thousand percent dead here. Mm, they might actually try to feed me off to uh, their Ezreal. Shaco got the kill. It's whatever. We'll get our Mobies. It's time to win the game. Since we're about to be roaming, we're gonna get rid of our wording. Sorry about the yawn. We're gonna be getting rid of our wording totem and getting our Oracle lens so we can prowl the map a little bit better. Kel's probably our win condition realistically. Twitch has 8 CS. I don't know if this is his first time playing Twitch jungle, but you should have way more than 8 CS by now. He's level 3. Jesus. Yeah, we're going to go top. We can get Cal roll and she can hyper carry this. You normally roam mid from base, but uh, in this case, I'm trying to get Cal some, uh, some gold. We're going to run out. We're going to hold on to our W initially. And then once they can see you, you normally want to use it. We're going to auto attack E reset. Try to stay on top of him in between autos. Hold on to our Q. Hold on to Q. Do you see how I let him line himself up against the wall first before I queued? Like he was kind of lined up. I didn't just immediately Q there. He could have potentially flashed it to be fair. I could have queued him right when I knocked him up. But I wanted to try to give us some more distance. We were still hitting him the whole time anyways. I'm going to have to go bot now, which sucks, but uh, it is what it is. We got our roam off. Oh, Nidalee's right there. I have Mobies. She doesn't even have boots, so she can't do anything. TF could honestly rotate to this. I don't know if he will, though. I don't know if he's going to. I don't think he is. Oh, bro, no way. I was actually one damage off. I kid you not, guys. I was one damage off from uh, killing the scuttle when my hook landed. That's so unfortunate. Mm, I really don't want to do this now. Oh, my goodness, Tia. That was so troll. All right, we're going to go ahead and mute all to focus. Twitch is level four. Holy cow, man. We're going to knock her up. He got the kill. Nice. We're going to use our uh, item on the cannon. There we go. Getting some pretty high value for the team. We still have our pink ward down in that bush as well, which is nice. We have our R. Oh, you got this, Kel. You got this. Come on, baby. Actually, I don't know if she has that. <laughs> I know. It looks like she had it, but this cannon mini was chunking. I don't want to fight that, uh, that Shaco box. Looks like Nidalee's top. Keep an eye on that. Huge. Nice. That's massive. I don't know if this is worded, but we're about to find out. Where the fuck did he go? He went that way. Mm, we'll go ahead. Break this pink. I'll use a potion. I need to heal up a little bit. We do still have our mana shield, but I don't want to risk anything here. He's got a box in this area. It's like right there. Just checking for another pink ward. Yeah, but just broke. We have more free wards. Feels good. I'm going to lay it right there. going to run her down. going to knock her up. going to silence her. We're going to... Oh, that feels good. Notice, once again, I didn't use my hook until I had her knocked up. If you don't have them knocked up, then landing the hook isn't guaranteed. So in an ideal world, you're never going to be hooking unless the person's already CC'd. 
And while you knock him up in the air, you actually have like three quarters of a second to walk away. So knock up, walk away, and then you can still hook them while they're CC'd. Good stuff. If you guys do want to hyper carry on a melee support, I would recommend Blitzcrank right now. He has one of the best win rates and pick rates. If you are still trying to figure out the game and you're really new to League, I would recommend uh, playing more passive, easier supports like, like Soraka. You'll get a lot higher value without having to analyze the map and figure out figure out like what your best play is because you can just kind of stay in lane and scale for free and give high value regardless. I'm trying to save this way from my Jin. I'm trying to be a nice guy. I'm going to go ahead and roam. When the enemies are resetting, it's usually a pretty good time too. As long as you're not directly killing your AD carry by roaming at just like a random time. Shaco's there, Lux is there, that sucks. I'm getting ready to relay my pink ward. I feel like they might try to break it. I'll try to loop around the other way. They'll probably expect me coming from this way since they just saw me over there. But if I like run a marathon, loop all the way around, they won't, I don't think they'll see it coming. There's a good chance Shaco, someone's here in the middle of Oh, he's so dead, I can't save him at all. And Twitch is coming though. Knock her up, ulti. I think I'm dead. I'm gonna W away. I'm gonna eat a biscuit. I'm so fucked. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. That was such a sketchy situation, man. Super, super sketchy. We need Kel to be had. The thing is, I don't see us chewing through an Orn at all without the Kale. Twitch isn't even fed. He has five kills and 35 CS. His CS is holding him back right now. We're going to get Zeke's. Zeke's is one of your best first items because it gives you mana, which you desperately need for your passive, plus your Q. Sucks your whole mana pool dry after a few times, so getting that mana is really nice. Plus, it gives you a massive AoE slow and damage after using your R. And it gives your teammate who you put it on massive uh, damage on their auto attacks, which is nice. So I'll probably put that on Kel or the Twitch. We'll get some good value out of it. I'm going to turn on a sweeper, check these bushes real quick. All right, no wards. It's good info. Get a ward down right there. None of this shit's warded, man. I already checked it. Lux doesn't even know I'm over here unless she's just like faker or something. Even then, Lux, she doesn't technically know I'm here. She pinned herself in between the turret and the wall, dude. You never, ever, ever want to step in this area against a hook champ. They're going to hook your ass out. You're basically pinning yourself for them already, and then they can't miss. Mm, he's laying his boxes and shit. It's so annoying. Shaco is such a rat champ, bro. I uh, might actually have him here. I guess we'll find out. You could always hop the wall. Yeah, I think he just did. I have no clue where he went. He could have, dude. He could have went anywhere. That sucks. I, he must have went over that fat part of the wall or some shit. Yeah, he did. He has no idea he's actually on a ward right now. It looks like he's figured it out though. I'm gonna turn on my sweeper so if he tries to run past us, we'll see it. He went over the wall. Oh, I couldn't reach it. I thought I had flash. I was going to flash hook him to try to save my gin, but he was fine anyways. We're going to ult. Drop a fat R on our head silencer. <laughs> Dropping a fat blitz load is just so satisfying. To see all of that come out <laughs> at once. It's too good. Too good. It's very satisfying R. Max our W second. Oh, come on, Twitch. Which is breaking our heart over here, man. I'm gonna hook her, auto attack, E reset, knock her up. I'm gonna ignite her. TF ignited her on top of my ignite, so we have double the spice. Just kidding, ignites don't stack. <laughs> it's not how it works, unfortunately. So basically, half my ignite went to waste since he ignited her so fast. Whatever. Get a ward down. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm yawning so much. I woke up really early today. 
Zeke's Convergence, and now we're gonna go for, what do we normally go for? Normally you go for Gargoyles after Zeke's, or you could go for Knight's Vow. I think I'd rather have Gargoyle. If I'm just a little bit tankier, it'll be very nice, because they have the Lux Burst, Ezreal Burst, Shaco Burst. Like, their whole team is bursty, except for the Ornn. Well, even then, Ornn's pretty bursty, but... Most of their team is really squishy and really bursty. Almost Assassin-like, to where if I just stay alive, we'll be fine. I want to put my Zeke's on someone useful. Yeah, he's so fucked. What is he doing? That's so... Dude, I hate how Shaco could be so far out of position and then still get away. Like, we even saw where he went, but it's like it doesn't matter. Nice. Switch got it. Nice, 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 nice. Very cool. Yeah, I'm trying to just push Shaco away from what's happening here. He can't really get in, which is good. Oh, son of a bitch. TF actually does have ult. He could kill him if he really wanted to. I don't think he wants to, though. It's whatever. That's what that's what you get when you play against Shaco's support. He doesn't give him much value, but he's just super annoying because you can't kill him. He just kind of runs around and taunts you. He's just asking for it. He's going to get it eventually. I'm going to hook Nidalee over the wall. Just you wait. Auto attack, E reset. Mm, okay, maybe I'm not. I thought we could kill her. It's not as easy as I thought it'd be. Awkwardly tanky. I guess a little Lux shield OP. Lux is pretty strong right now. Support, not as a mid laner. Lux mid, her wave clear is too bad. and uh, She's too squishy. She's a lot better as... She's a lot better as a bot lane champion, man. Okay, here we go. It's our time to shine. Let's just let him step up a little bit more. Alright, let's go on. Nah, auto attack E reset. I'm gonna hold on to my R. I don't wanna kill steal it. I want Jin to get the gold. There's only so much I can do with the gold. Where the fuck did he go? That's what I hate about Shaco, man. He's just so... Yeah, look at it. He's all the way over there. Like, you think you're chasing a dude, and he's on the other side of the map. Such a troll champion. I think we'll get Dragon off of it, which is nice. Go ahead and take these minions. Drop my load on it. Got a pink ward in that bush. Let's wipe that out. Another point on our W. I need to put my Zeke's on somebody. I haven't actually used it yet. I've been wanting to put it on the Cal, but I guess it doesn't matter. Mm, I'll put it on Jin. I trust him more. I guess it doesn't even have a cooldown. Knight's Vow has a, like a two minute cooldown, I think. Zeke's, I could just put it on whoever. And it's like a two second cooldown. I'll put it back on the Jin since we're going in for the fight. Did Ezreal not have his E? That dude's just not jumping away. Holy cow, Twitch is getting it. Alright, he didn't... Oh, wow, he actually got it. Not bad. Auto attack, E reset, W. Let's go start taking ability. Isn't half bad. We're getting very close to our Gargoyle stone plate. Just try to play around the team. I can't solo anybody. I'm just mainly trying to set up kills for the teammates and try to stay out of the enemy's vision when possible. This isn't warded. It's very important you have sweeper. Oh, fuck. He's dead. Oh, wow. He juked that. Uh, he actually played that decently. He juked out the Nidalee Spear. You just needed one more auto attack and he would have killed her. He's so fast. He's like running me down. I have movies. Alright, let's go play around Kel, man. It's Kel's time to shine. I can feel it. They know I'm here. They literally saw me. I'm going to try to get in that bush. I'll just chill right here. I would like to get in that bush. I don't know if I can get into it without the turret seeing me, though. 
Mm, oh, baby. There he goes. Knock her up, silence her immediately. I felt like she was going to flash away. If you feel like they're going to flash or dash away immediately, you don't need to use your E's and auto attack resetter in those cases. If it's a slow champion and you know they don't have flash, then you can hook, auto attack E. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck yeah. Yo, let's get out of here, Kale. Let's get out of this pop. <laughs> Let's get out of this dump. Take me some. Take me somewhere nice, dude. I for sure thought I was dead there. This Kel's too good. She's popping off. She's coming back into this game. Nice snare. Oh, let's get let's get some slows on this guy. Oh man, he dashed right as I hooked. That was good timing out of him. You know R. Try to give her a little something something there. All right, let's go ahead and reset. We'll, we'll come to this back bush just to be safe. And we can finally get our gargoyle stone plate as well. Whoa! All right, got gargoyle. We're gonna get some pink wards. I'm gonna keep showing you guys how you carry on this champ. In the late game, you start to get worse and worse and worse. So you're mainly relying on your investments in the early like you're relying on what you invested in in the early and mid game for your late game you're like chinese parents dude you're putting your kids in tutoring you're getting them a good education and then you're gonna come live with them for the rest of your life that's blitz crank late game is pretty shitty pretty fucking awful late game if the enemies have people to block your hooks now against them they only have one tank so maybe i might be finding a team fight as long as I don't hook the Orn, we win the fight automatically. But if they had double tank or like shield tank plus shielder, then they'd be doing quite a bit better. I would hook her, but there's no one near me to help. Shaco could be fucking anywhere. That's so frustrating, dude. He's like out in the middle of butt fuck nowhere. And he... I know I've said that at least 20 times, but that's really how I feel champion like he's not like i imagine his team's frustrated too like having him on their team about as frustrated as i am oh nidalee she's living life on the edge hooked Oh shit, maybe I should have blocked that. <laughs> I didn't even think about stepping in front of it. I didn't think it would kill uh, TF. We'll get our... Uh... Make sure you keep using your Z, because I put it on the gin for that time. If you're not near your person, then you don't get really any value out of having the item. So make sure you put it on whoever is near you when you're going to fight. Mm, yeah, we can't kill him. I don't know who I'm tr trying to trick here. Keep hitting him, Jen. Mm, all right, we did get the dragon, so that I guess that's a pretty good trade. We were kind of the distraction there. We'll take it. Break these plants. Nice, nice. Ooh, what do we have here? In Italy. I don't like this. Oh, come on now. That was a little bit risky. <laughs> that was a little bit wild there. At least we got her flash. That's all I need. Dude, look how fast this guy is. What the fuck? Oh, the hand of justice. They don't. <laughs> Dude, you gotta love that Blitzcrank. Blitzcrank is pretty badass. I'm surprised they haven't made a Superman Blitzcrank skin. Like his fist of justice or whatever. And then they could give him a cape. And when he W's, he goes. And he sticks his arms out in front of him like Superman when he's flying. Pretty badass. Get some Knight's Vow. Get some armor. Push back out onto the map. 
We have Dragon Soul lined up for us, even though Blitzcrank isn't the best scaler in the whole world. If you do get Dragon Soul, your late game is pretty stable. If you do have high damage dealers on your team, your late game's not bad either. We have a lot of damage. You just basically need a backline. If you don't have a backline on Blitz, you're pretty freaking useless. I guess if your frontline's insane too, but yeah, in general on Blitz, it's more about like what the enemies are. Your comp only really matters like in the early game if you're gonna get kills. I actually had a really easy comp to gank for. Ganking for TF mid, and uh, that, that, that's super easy. You just press the stun. I don't know why Jin didn't auto that. I can't auto that. If I walk up, it's gonna fear me and blast me. It's gonna tickle my pickle. Guess we can just wait on the dragon soul. Whenever you're at this point in the game, you want to try to get your wards as far down as possible without the enemy seeing you lay them. If they, oh shit, he's gonna see me lay it. Oh well. Yeah, ideally they don't see you lay it. That way they don't break it. But that gives us really good vision if they step out to try to contest Baron or step up to try to get a pit. I'm gonna ult, get my shit on him. Shaco's dead. I'm gonna use my gargoyle stone plate, knock him up, and run away. I don't know why I'm by myself, but I am. That's all right. Oh, mama mia, dude! I got roasted. <laughs> I guess TF went for their base. That was a really weird fight because we killed Shaco super fast. Like I don't even know how. I guess Kale died with her flash and her R. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. It might have been on cooldown. Definitely not ideal to be dying. I think they got shut down gold off of me. Yeah, they got 400. Shit. That sucks. Luckily, they don't have... The only way they could win a team fight is if Kel just keeps dying without pressing R. Because Kel can shred orange. She's one of the few champions that can actually bust tanks. Definitely a big old tank buster. Look at that auto, dude. Yeah, one crit. That's about half her health. Jin's gonna need some armor pen to get through that big boy. <laughs> His HP just isn't changing. Alright, let's get it down on... Uh, we might just leave it on the Jin. If, if Twitch is about to go in with his R, then I'll put my uh, Zeke's on him. Otherwise... Oh, Nidalee, you're in trouble, dude. Or is she? How did she get... What? How'd she get all the way over there that fast? She actually got over there super, super quick. I'd like to get a ward over the wall. I don't know if this is warded. Shaco support gonna solo our Twitch jungle. Oh my. Not quiet, but... You know, I think that's worth for us. <laughs> I'd rather Shaco be dead than him do half of Kale's health with one E. Even if it does cost us, which it's worth. Mm. Oh my god. That's not what I wanted. You know, we should fight for Dragon here. I think we actually win, win a fight if Kel shows up. Get a ward down over here as well. Nice stun. Knock him up, hook him, ulti, keep my slow on him. Nice. Yeah, I think we can keep pressuring our uh, this fight. Hooked, knock up, Knight's Vow, I mean uh, Gargoyle Stone Plate. Dude, we're clean, let's go. So yeah, guys, if you want to check out everything, go to the very start of the video for the runes, items, level order, everything. And uh, if you did enjoy this Blitzcrank support guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.